Hello guys! For our topic in this video, we will talk about JavaScript conditional statement. The JavaScript if else statement. It is used to execute the code whether condition is true or false. So in JavaScript if else statement, we are using Boolean expression. There are four forms of if statement here in JavaScript. Nandiyan si if statement, si if else statement, si if else if ladder, and then si nested if else. So let's jump into the if statement. Use the if statement to specify a block of code to be executed if a condition is true. So it will execute the code if the condition na nilagay natin ay magiging true. So for example, in this flowchart diagram. So this is our condition inside the diamond chip. And if it's true, it will proceed in our statement or in our block of code. But if it's false, the condition or the statement will end. This is the uh, syntax in using if statement. So, code is if, and then inside the parentheses, dito natin nilalagay yung condition na gagamitin natin. So, the condition is the comparison of operators. So, na pwede ilagay natin dyan is yung greater than, less than, equal, not equal, and so on. And after the condition is the opening curly braces. So inside the opening curly braces is our statement or our block of code. Then it will be executed if our condition is true. And then after that, after our block of codes is syempre yung closing curly braces for our opening curly braces. So this is the sample script in JavaScript using if statement. So as you can see, if and then, the condition is num percent 2. So, num percent 2 means kapag dinivide natin yung num into 2, it will get the remainder. And then, equal equal 0. It means na kapag ang remainder ng num natin is equal equal to 0, it will proceed into our block of code. So, di ba kapag nag true, saka lang siya mapupuntas in our block of code. So, kapag true, ang magiging output ng script natin is even number. So, document.getElementById demo that inner HTML is equal to even number. And then, don't forget the closing curly braces. And now, let's try the code. And now, meron akong HTML, which consists of title, the script, the head, the body, the button, and then the paragraph answer. And dito yung itsura nung HTML natin. So, button and then the paragraph answer. So, when I click the check, dito lalabas yung magiging answer natin in our checking of add or even number. Let's now start creating our JavaScript. First thing you need to do is create a new tab and then click file, then save as. So, kailangan natin i-save yung document natin. So, condition.js. This will be my file name. Control save, then let's start coding. So, first, I will create a function. And then the function name will be my function. And then opening curly braces. Next thing is I will declare a variable for my number. And sample value. For example is 20. Let's now start creating our conditional statement. So the keyword for the if statement is if, 
and then condition. So inside a condition, ito natin ilalagay. Yung gusto nating condition. Or kung ano ba yung operator na gagamitin natin. So I am using comparison operator. And they arithmetic operator. So first is my arithmetic operator. So I will check or I will get the remainder of my num. So num percent 2. So it will check if yung num is divided by 2 and then kung ano ba yung magiging remainder nito. And then my remainder will be compare if it's equal to 0. So, ang gagamitin natin ay comparison operator, which is equal, equal. So, it means if it's equal to 0. Okay, and then next is the opening curly braces, then press enter, so closing curly braces. Okay, and now let's add comment. If it's true, it will continue in our statement. So the code will be document that get element by ID and then parentheses. So what will be our ID? So let's go back in our HTML and then dito natin ilalagay yung magiging answer natin. So that's why kailangan natin lagyan siya ng value. So my ID will be demo. Then just copy the demo and then paste it here. So make sure na nasa loob ng double quotation. And the next code will be that inner HTML is equal to so, ano ba yung output na gusto natin ilagay? So, number is even number. So, I will just type even number. And then, semicolon. So, control save. And then, do you think may kulang pa ba? Yes. Because, hindi pa natin na-include in our HTML yung location and yung document na javascript natin. So, may javascript is inside a javascript folder and then my file name is condition.js The next one is ito po na audio previous video natin so, the source and then the function. So, here in on click because after it click yung button, saka pa lang magda-action or magpo-function yung javascript natin. So, control save then that's right. So, I will click this button, then it is even number. Then, what if our number is not a even number? So, 21, control save, then click refresh, then check. So, nothing changes. Walang nagbago, hindi ka pa rin niya mahal. So, paano pag gusto natin makita kung yung number ba is odd number? So, let's proceed in our next statement. And yan na si if else statement. The JavaScript if else statement execute the if block if condition is true, otherwise else block is executed. So, unlike kay if statement, meron na tayo dito ang else statement. So, di ba kanina, kapag nag-true in our condition na if, so it will proceed in our statement. But here, in else, kapag naman nag-false, magkakaroon na rin tayo ng statement or block of codes para kay else. Then, this is the syntax for if else statement. So, if, and then the condition, and then the else. Let's first analyze the difference between the if code and then the else code. Or the if keyword between the else keyword. So, kay if keyword, meron tayo condition. So, kay else keyword naman is hindi tayo naglalagay na condition because 
In if condition, kapag nag-true, dito siya papasok sa block of code natin. Kapag naman nag-false, automatically, it will jump into our else statement. So, this is the sample script. So, kanina, we checked if the number is even number. So, paano naman kung yung remainder is not equal to zero? So, dun papasok si add number. So, wala na tayong babaguhin in our HTML. Dito na lang kay JavaScript. So, this is our if keyword. And after the closing curly brace for our if keyword, dito natin ilalagay si x keyword. And then, tandaan, di ba? Walang condition. That's why diretso na tayo kay opening curly braces. And then, let's add the closing curly braces. So, this line of code will display even number if it's true. While, if it's false, it will display odd numbers. So, I will just copy this block statement and then paste. And then, I will just change it in odd. So, let me just indent our code. Control C. And then, click refresh, then check. So, odd number. Because our number is 21. So, let's try to make it 30. So, 30 is an even number. So, let's check. Refresh. Check. Then, it's an even number. Let's try to make it 15. Control C. Then, let's check. Refresh. And then, check. So, it's an odd number. So, basically, in if, it will execute the code if it's true or if our condition is true then kapag naman ang false directly kay else na siya mapupunta and then it will execute the code inside the opening and closing curly brace of the else keyword let's now continue in our if else if ladder statement the if else if ladder statement execute one condition for multiple statement. It is used when more than one condition is to be checked. So kanina ka if statement, we are just checking one condition. Then in if else if ladder naman, tandaan, dito ay gumagamit tayo ng more than one condition. So as you can see in our flowchart. So the first condition, if it's true, it will directly go in our statement. But if it's false, it will directly go in the second condition. If it's true, syempre, it will execute the statement inside her or inside its curly brace. And then if it's false, if wala nang subunod na else if, so it will directly go in the else part. So this is the syntax for if, else, if, ladder statement. So if, condition, and then under that, else, if, condition. And then under that is else. Then take note. An if, else, if, else statement must have only one block, one if block, but can have as many else if block. So, ang pwede lang dito is one if block. But we can add many else if block kung gaano ba kadami condition yung ilalagay mo sa statement mo or sa conditional statement mo and then else part is optional it can be absent or present in our conditional statement so this is a sample code in our if else if ladder statement so as you can see, meron tayong isang if keyword and then isang else if keyword. So, in this program, I will just check if the number is a positive number, negative number, or zero number. That's why I only have two condition. condition. So, let's try the code. So, I will just erase the statement for the else. And then the statement for the if. And then the condition inside our if. Then I will just add 
another keyword for the else if. Okay. So first keyword if, and then next keyword is else if, and then after that is else. So else is optional. Pwede mo siyang ilagay dyan, or if ayaw mo naman ng else, so pwede mo rin naman siyang tanggalin. And then I will not erase my bar number is equal to 15. Because in this program, number din naman yung check natin. So first one, dito tayo kay condition natin kay if. So I will check if the number is a positive number. So, positive number is from 1. Let's now add a condition in our if keyword. So, I will check if our number is a positive number. So, positive number is a number that is bigger than 0. So, num must be bigger than 0. So, do you have an idea kung ano ba yung operator na gagamitin natin? Yes, we will use the comparison operator greater than sign. So, num must be greater than 0. And it will output positive number. So, document that get element by id and then our id will be the same. So, demo. Then that inner HTML is equal to our output will be positive number. Then control C. And now, okay, else if naman. So I will just copy this comment and then in else if we will check if the number is a negative number. So negative number is a number that is lower than 0. So bigger is greater than and lower is yes less than sign. Then I will just copy this line of code, paste, and then I will just change it in to a negative. Okay. And now, in our else. So if our number is not bigger than 0, and our number is not lower than 0, it is a 0 number. So I will just type 0 number. So control save, then let's try to run our code. So our number is 15, refresh, then check. So 15 is a positive number. So let's change our code or our value into a negative number. So let's try negative 16. Control save, then let's proceed in our code, then refresh, check. So negative 60 is a negative number. Now, let's change it into E0. So, let's proceed, refresh, and then check. So, 0 is a 0 number. So, if you don't want to use else, so you can just use else if, and then add a condition. So, num is equal equal to 0. Control save. And then, refresh, then check. So, it's still a zero number. Next one is the nested if statement. The nested if statement represents the if block within another if block. This is our flowchart diagram. So, if our condition is true, it will proceed in the statement inside the if. And then, if 
Meron tayong another condition statement inside the if it's called nested if statement. So let's proceed in the syntax. So as you can see, this is our if statement. And then inside our if statement is meron tayong another if statement. So it's called nested if statement. So huwag kayo malilito. Uh, so huwag kayo malilito. Meron lang tayong another statement inside our if statement. Okay. So let's now analyze the code. So I have a two variable for the age and for the weight. First thing is, I will check if the age is greater than 80. Because in this program, only those person who are 18 years old and above are eligible to donate blood. So if you are not 18, so sa else agad mapupunta yung code natin. So each must be greater than 18. And then, after i-check yung age mo kung 18 above ka ba or not. So if it's true, it will check naman your weight. So the weight must be greater than 50. So if you are your weight is 71, you are eligible to donate blood. But if your weight is 50 or lower, you are not eligible to donate blood. So I would like you guys to try this program at home and then check if you are eligible or not eligible to donate blood.